Hello and welcome back to Chef Poetry. Today's hat is brought to you by a frustrated milliner and the realisation that early Victorian bonnet making, indeed any kind of bonnet making or bonnet wearing, is probably not a career that I should take up anytime soon. Today's poem is by Emily Bronte, an author I've always enjoyed, first of all because Wuthering Heights is an absolutely stunning nightmare scene of a book with a very surprising and redemptive love story right at the end which is not Catherine and Heathcliff, but mostly because every page of that book is filled with, at the risk of sounding like your second year literature prof, the author's love for the land. Seriously, the Yorkshire Moors are absolutely beautiful. Jazz and I went there for Charlotte Bronte's 200th birthday a few years ago, and it was amazing. So I can kind of understand that affinity and that adoration for that landscape now, and it's a landscape where all the Bronte sisters spent most of their lives, and Emily in particular, really didn't like to, to be apart from it. And this poem, I think, captures a little bit of that spirit. Often rebuked, yet always back returning to those first feelings that were born with me, and leaving busy chase of wealth and learning for idle dreams of things which cannot be. Today I will not seek the shadowy region, its unsustaining vastness waxes drear, and visions rising, legion after legion, bring the unreal world too strangely near. A walk, but not in old heroic traces, and not in paths of high morality, and not among the half-distinguished faces, the clouded forms of long past history. A walk where my own nature would be leading. It vexes me to choose another guide, where the grey flocks and ferny glens are feeding, where the wild wind blows on the mountainside. What have those lonely mountains worth revealing? More glory and more grief than I can tell. The earth that wakes one human heart to feeling can centre both the worlds of heaven and hell. Even just reading it makes me want to go back there and ramble over the moors again. And hopefully someday I will. Thank you so much for watching, and please come back for the next one.